What's up, beautiful people, and welcome to another episode of Don't Keep Up With, Don't Keep, Don't Keep Up With The Joneses. Don't, don't keep up with the, don't keep up with the Joneses. Don't keep up with, don't keep, don't keep up with the Joneses. Don't, don't keep up with the, don't keep up with the Joneses. Yes, beautiful people, we are back with another palette video, and this one is going to be fabulous. Multiple reasons because, you know, this is, well, you don't know, but you're about to find out. Uh, you saw in the thumbnail, it's a palette bed that I'm making today. And it's actually like a giveaway. Like a friend of ours was like, hey, love what you're doing with the palette situation. My daughter wants a palette bed. And I was like, okay. i never done a palette bed before. And I was like, okay, I got some ideas. Now I have some new things that I'm trying out. I kind of flashed the box around, but I'm going to show you what I'm doing. Boom throwing these lights under the bed. You can't just do a pallet bed and put a bed on top and call it a pallet bed. No, no, no. You have to take it to the next level. And right here, ladies and gentlemen, this is the next level. And I have one of my Father's Day tools that I get to try out. And it also my shirt. You see my shirt? I see the shirt. Pro Dad. Yes, I'm a pro daddy, okay? Now, Back to my tool, one of my Father's Day gifts, which you all saw the video when Crystal surprised me with the Father's Day gifts with the kids and things like that. <laughs> the handy dandy sandal. Ooh. Now I'm a little hot. This is a new location. It's, it's hotter here than it is at our house. But anyway, y'all didn't come here to hear about the weather. Y'all came here to see how I made this bed, okay? Y'all see the palace in the back. I'm about to put the palettes to work. These are the palettes. I'm going to use three palettes to assemble this palette bed, okay? So the first thing I have to do is lay the palettes down, sweep them off because they were outside, so I don't want to bring what's outside inside. And then after I sweep them off, then I will sand them because I do want to make sure everything is nice, clean, and not like, you know, splintery or sharp because kids are involved with this bed, things like that. And then once I do that, then I'll take it on the inside put them all together by way of screws. I am using two and a half inch screws. Again, exterior screws, 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 screws. Any of that intrigued you, go ahead and subscribe because I'm telling you other videos such as this will be on your feed because you're gonna subscribe, you're gonna hit the bell notification so you're notified when other videos such as this take place. Let's have some palette fun. Let's have some DIY fun. Let's do it together because we can learn from each other, okay? All right, so let's go ahead and lay these palettes out, sweep them off, sand them, do the works. Let's go. Alright ladies and gentlemen, so the sanding is now done and I must say that was like my first time like ever sanding before and uh, it's pretty fun, I ain't gonna lie to you, well it's, it's pretty fun, it's pretty interesting like you just feel it and I like it because it had the little bag that catched all the little sawdust and things like that as it was sanding. Not trying to sound like a commercial for the sander but at the same time I will say it is a good sander. Shout out to you Ryobly. You done it again. Now, so after I sanded these bad boys, now I'm going to go ahead and take it inside, which I actually could have sanded inside, now that I know. But anyway, I'm gonna go ahead and take it inside so that I can assemble it in the position in which they will sit, which will then lead me to securing it by way of screws. And then the fun part, putting the lights together underneath is going to be beautiful. And I can't wait to show you what it looks like. All right, so let's go ahead and get these palettes inside.
All right, ladies and gentlemen, so now I have the palettes in the room, okay? The palettes are here. There are four palettes in the room. Now, I know you may be wondering what's going on with that one. When you're doing palette beds, know that all your palettes don't have to all be there or be present or whatever things like that but you can make it work okay so now i'm about to join the palettes themselves together and i'm using my two and a half inch screws deck screws um somebody asked me like what screws do you use they want to see the box so this is the box that you can find again at home depot and the screw and nail owl now of course i can't tell you which owl it is because every home depot is different and things like that so anyway so i'm gonna go ahead and drill them together i'll attach them by way of the board boom boom i'll just screw a nail in between just like that do two per each one boom 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 and then we will be done with the attachment part and then comes the lighting part which i'm so excited about because i've never run strip lighting before so this is going to be something new new territory for me but i'm so excited about the outcome okay so let me go ahead and screw everything together and then lighting All right, so now that that's done, it's lighting time. I'm going to open up my lights, which I purchased at Best Buy. I'm so excited about them. Never done it before. It's kind of like a palette video and unboxing all at the same time. I don't even know if you heard me because of all the noise, but here's the strip lighting as it comes. Some instructions should be very simple. You know, the whole idea is like to run the lights, connect the lights, boom, plug it in. Eureka, you have lights. Now this part, I'm not gonna lie, this part is throwing me off. Oh, this is for the remote control. All right, where's the remote control? Okay, here's the remote control. Boom, boom shakalaka, remote control, okay? All right, so if you're wondering how this is gonna operate, I am too. Um, so I'm gonna just roll it out so it comes on this here little dial situation it has the tape on the back the 3m tape which is supposed to be the best so i'm gonna just like roll it out to see you know before i stick it up under what it looked like on top so let's give it a look so ladies and gentlemen it is perfect it makes the perfect u shape which is what i was going for which of course i should have did the math when you have the pallets there are four feet long and the tape itself the light strip itself is 16 feet so we have four it's four, it's four. Four times four is 16. So of course it would have wrapped around for the four pallets. So that's what it did. Um, if you obviously, well, it's not obvious, but if you can't see what it looks like on top, I'm about to tape it underneath, which is where it will rest and go. Rest, pun intended. <laughs> so I'm gonna go ahead and uh, use the tape, double-sided tape to attach it to the upside, um, excuse me, the bottom side of the pallet itself. And then I'll turn on the light and you'll get to see the light under the pallet board bed, okay? And I'll put the bed on top, boom, bed, all that good stuff. Okay, so now the bed is on the pallet bed and I have my remote control. So let me just see if it works like this. Boom, okay, no, it's not working. Oh, there's a piece you have to take out. Boom, piece out. <gasps> let me show you with the lights off what happens. Ladies and gentlemen, let there be light. And you could change the color. Red if she's feeling red. Green if she's feeling green. Blue. Look at that. We could even do strobe. Party, party, ooh, ooh. Party, party, ooh, ooh. Or we can do this. Slow transition. Mood, vibe, you know what I'm saying? Or if that's not your thing. Ooh, 
Ooh, party, party, party. Ooh, ooh, party, party, party. Ooh, ooh, party, party, party. You know what I'm saying? She has options. Depends on her mood. If she's just trying to wake up. Oh. And B, the thing is, there is the white light. Oh, that's yellow. That's yellow. Boom. That's the white light if she wants white. But who wants white when you could have purple? It's an option, y'all. It's an option. Go ahead, subscribe if you haven't already done so, man. Look at this cool action that is taking place with this pallet bed. You never knew you could have a dancing pallet bed, did you? Did you? Huh? This might be the first time you see the dancing pallet bed, okay? Don't let it be the last because you can do it at your house, okay? Just go back through all the steps and you can make it happen to yourself, okay? All right! All right, ladies and gentlemen, so that completes this video. As you can see, there is walk room on either side of the bed. So she has like the whole situation. I'm over here like laying as if it was my bed. She has the whole walk-in area. I'm not gonna make the bed. That's for the reveal and all that good stuff. I'm gonna mind my business. But I do understand it's gonna be boho style. She got the idea from Pinterest. But um, you can see the whole walkway. And it's all walkable all the way around. The bed and things like that. So it is perfect. Perfect, 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 okay? So I'ma let the party do what the party does, okay? Y'all see the strip lighting happening. Y'all see it even in the light. The party is taking place, okay? So if strobe lighting is your thing, if you're trying to figure out if this can be sold, it can be sold with the palette, okay? I might have to do this on my deck because this right here, this is epic. Like all of this happening at one time, eh, big, okay? I might have to have it for my house. So. We love you all. We thank you. Go ahead and watch the other videos before you go. Check out a couple of these videos because, again, we have palette fun, okay? This is just another way to have palette fun. A palette bed, okay? We love you all. Thank you and have a wonderful day. Ah!